Hello, welcome to the course on other signal processing for music applications. In this last week of the course, in these uh, demonstration lectures, I want to uh, show some tools, some systems that can exemplify some potential of the techniques and methods that we have been talking uh, during these uh, last few weeks. So in this uh, particular lecture, I want to talk about Dunia. Dunia is a prototype, uh, it's a website that uh, we have been uh, developing for a particular project, uh, Com Music, in which uh, we want to develop uh, technologies to explore music collections. So let me first uh, tell you a little bit about the project, um, Com Music. Uh, Com Music uh, is a project that has been going on uh, already for close to three years, and in it uh, we are trying to start from audio recordings and from information about these recordings of particular music repertoires, of particular music traditions, and then develop techniques with which we can navigate, we can explore, discover this uh, music. And, they do is, and the idea is do it from a, a cultural specific approach, so by taking advantage of the knowledge we have of a particular music tradition. So at the end, what uh, we have is this uh, Dunia prototype, uh, which is uh, basically uh, a navigator uh, to explore um, the, uh, the corpus, the collection of recordings, and all the information that we have on these recordings. And the techniques we use are, are based on signal processing, machine learning, semantic analysis, and with that, uh, some of the particular problems that we are focusing on are related to understanding the melody, uh, the rhythm, and the relationship between the concepts that appeared in these uh, recordings. So let me tell you a little bit more about uh, Com Music. Um, we're doing what uh, we call this uh, cultural specific approach or knowledge driven uh, uh, sort of approach. The idea is that we start from particular music repertoires that uh, have been studied enough so that we have enough knowledge that then we can use that knowledge to better analyze and describe the music. So we have taken five music traditions that are uh, non-Western and they're quite different from the type of music that the field of MIR has normally been paying attention to. And uh, these five music traditions uh, are quite uh, uh, very well developed and there is a lot of information about them. So it's a good starting point to kind of challenge uh, some of the technologies uh, that uh, we have been using uh, so far. So the idea is to see how far we can take them and what new technologies we need to develop to characterize uh, these music collections. So we have uh, chosen uh, to use the two classical traditions in India, or the two main classical traditions in India, Carnatic from the south of India and Hindustani from the north of India, then uh, the music tradition from uh, the north of Africa, uh, what is called the Arab Andalusian tradition, uh, the, that area is called the Maghreb. Uh, then uh, we are also studying uh, the music of the Beijing Opera, uh, from China, so that's uh, uh, of course it's within a, a, a theatrical o operatic framework, but we're just focusing on the musical side of it. And then finally, uh, we are also studying uh, the Turkish makam music. This is the the music from the the Ottoman classical tradition that is maintained in uh, in Turkey. Okay, so let's uh, go to um, Dunya to the website. This is the main page of Dunia. Uh, you can access it directly through this URL, dunia.commusic.epf.edu. And it's a prototype. Uh, this is not uh, a website uh, to be used by the general public. This is um, a research prototype that we use for evaluating our research. Um, However, it's open and you can uh, access everything. Everything is open except the audio recordings. The audio recordings uh, that we uh, obtain, we bought, uh, are non uh, are commercial recordings. 
and therefore we don't have the right to distribute uh, to distribute them freely however um, if you accept the conditions that uh, we have in here and, and you apply for uh, a login we can give you a, a login if you accept basically to be a research subject of this uh, of this project and and then you will be able to actually listen to the recordings uh, not to download but just at least to listen to the recordings and now i am logged in so we'll be able to listen to uh, these recordings okay and uh, this uh, first uh, window here is the the search or the navigation through the metadata that we have about the recording so you can do a standard text search or you can do search uh, exploring the different entities that we have defined as being relevant for this particular music tradition and we decided that the name of artist, concert, instrument, raga and tala are the important entities concepts raga being the melodic framework and tala being the rhythmic framework so raga for example these are the all the ragas uh, that uh, we have recordings uh, of so you can uh, click at any raga search and it will return uh, these uh, the recordings and entities that relate to this raga and uh, uh, also you can do it for uh, artists and you can search for um, instruments uh, or you can uh, so if you can click here you search for the instruments that uh, we have recordings of uh, or of course uh, the tala too um, well, I don't want to go uh, explaining uh, everything uh, here. Uh, you feel free to, to do it yourself. I just want to go, for example, directly uh, to one uh, artist uh, page. Okay, so for example, um, there is uh, Amrita Murali. Uh, she's a singer that uh, I know and I like her uh, quite a bit. I'm not that familiar with Carnatic music, but uh, doing this project I have learned to appreciate quite a bit uh, some of this uh, music so you do a uh, well let's take the raga out and we just will do the the query of the artist uh, so that will return and this I already have it uh, uh, the research uh, the search uh, outcome of uh, having uh, click um, Rita Murali and the result are the the page of uh, of her and then uh, the pages of the recordings of the concerts that we have of her so let's go to uh, her page okay so this is the information we we have uh, um, from her and uh, already this is uh, quite interesting in the sense that we have been gathering data from internet from some uh, websites like um, in this case for example this uh, biography um, is obtained from kucheris.com which is a website specialized in Carnatic music and all the metadata uh, that uh, you will be uh, seeing comes from music brains I will uh, tell you more about Music Brains in the next uh, demonstration class, but uh, uh, Music Brains is a, is a website that basically has metadata about recordings. And in fact, we have put ourselves all this information about all these recordings in Music Brains, so then it's available for everyone. So that's uh, um, open uh, data that uh, can be accessible from a place like, in this case, uh, Dunia. Okay, so uh, this is uh, her page and for example interesting things we can also uh, look for artists that are similar and this already doing some semantic analysis. So these artists, uh, and we don't have uh, pictures of, uh, but only of some of them, uh, are related to her and, and then we establish a semantic relationship of similarity that uh, in this case relates if they belong to the same uh, school or they have had the same guru so they have some uh, common uh, kind of aesthetic uh, relationship or, or training uh, similar training they, they have gone through and also uh, we can uh, look for collaborating artists uh, so these are artists that have uh, played uh, with her in concerts so for example we have this uh, madranga player and we can uh, see in what uh, concert they have been collaborating 
so then we can uh, just click at the concert okay and uh, so this will be the page of uh, this concert they played together in this uh, December season 2009 um, and in here that's where we actually have the actual recordings okay so we have the, the different tracks of the of the CD of the concert and we have the list of artists that uh, have uh, played in that concert and we also have similar concerts and that's also uh, an interesting semantic relationship so these uh, related concerts have been obtained by looking at the type of pieces that uh, has been uh, have been played in this first concert so it looks for concerts that have uh, pieces in which uh, the, the raga being used and the tala have uh, a good uh, um, overlap with uh, our concert so in that sense they may be musically related so now we can go uh, to a particular uh, track of this uh, CD or a song of this uh, concert so for example let's go to this uh, last uh, recording here uh, in Atinomu Palamu I have it already open here this is what we call the recording page uh, so in here we can uh, display uh, some of the outcomes of the kind of research we have been doing still again is very preliminary but for example uh, we see uh, the waveform uh, the waveform can be zoomed into uh, more uh, smaller chunks um, here we have in the middle uh, the the view of the whole waveform for the whole song and below here uh, we have the pitch track uh, that we have analyzed automatically uh, from the song so that we can see how it evolves in time and we have these horizontal lines that uh, give us uh, the values of the tonic the kind of the fundamental frequency in, uh, in uh, Indian music there is a drone, a tambura that plays a, a, a note that is uh, the reference note and every musician, every artist has a different one so in this case we have analyzed it and it's a G okay so it uh, automatically obtained this value of 196 Hertz as the tonic for this particular song okay the background uh, uh, color is the spectrum of the overall timbre so we can kind of visualize a little bit of uh, the overall timbre of the piece of music and here on the left side this uh, red uh, shape is what we call the pitch histogram in which uh, we see kind of the distribution of pitches for the whole song the average of the whole song and uh, that gives you a quite interesting view of what pitches are uh, are being more emphasized for the song and this is a way to characterize a particular piece of music or the intonation of a singer for a particular raga for example but uh, let's uh, listen to that first So for example now we are uh, on, on the tonic, uh, she's singing the, the tonic of, uh, of this uh, particular song and uh, here we see where uh, that uh, tonic is in this uh, white line uh, we see that the tonic is not the most uh, common uh, note uh, uh, or a swara of this uh, particular uh, uh, song but in fact the uh, octave is more common and in fact the fifth what is called the pa is even more uh, prominent in this particular song <laughs> 
Anyway, with that you can really explore and learn quite a few things about the, the song. And uh, again, uh, this is just some preliminary data that we are displaying. The idea is to display much more. Uh, the kinds of things that we are aiming at uh, are related to this uh, bottom part of this display, the idea of similar recordings. So the idea is to explore similarity within the song and across a song. So do we explore the similarity within the whole uh, collection of uh, music recordings. For example, here we are starting to explore the idea of similar recordings of the whole collection of Carnatic music based on the pitch histogram. So we are uh, characterizing this uh, shape and then looking for other shapes that might be similar on some key aspects. Okay? So for example, uh, these are uh, songs, the first ones that uh, were identified as somewhat similar uh, within the same raga. And I have uh, here uh, one of them, this uh, Varnam. Uh, this is sung by another uh, 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 artist, uh, completely different. In fact, let's listen to that. Okay, anyway, so th that uh, gives you an idea of what we have and maybe a little bit of an idea of what we would like to have, which uh, hopefully would allow us then to explore even further uh, patterns that might be similar and navigate in a more complex way. Uh, hopefully in the next uh, uh, year or two we'll have a, a much more sophisticated uh, exploration of all this. Okay, uh, let's go back to the slides. Um, we uh, have uh, basically presented Dunia, uh, which is uh, this uh, website that you can, uh, we are most welcome to, to look at and, and navigate and explore. If you need more information about the project and the kinds of things we are doing and all the publications that uh, already have been, uh, been done and, uh, and, and shared, and, uh, so you can uh, look at the Com music website and I'm sure you will have a lot of information. We have also uh, quite a few tutorials of, uh, and videos of lectures that we have given so uh, you will be able to learn quite a bit about that. And that was all. Uh, this was an example of a prototype of a technology that uh, is based on a number of the things we're doing, a uh, number of the things we have learned in this class and that uh, push, pushes uh, definitely these type of technologies uh, forward into the idea of exploring music and not just any kind of music but music by uh, making uh, sure that it makes sense for a particular music tradition. Uh, again, this is very much uh, open research still uh, but uh, hopefully uh, some interesting results uh, will uh, come soon. So thank you very much and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.